Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome on stage Uchtaran Fianna Fáil and Taoiseach, Brian Cowan. Well, it's one of a series of meetings we're having around the country, talking to our organisation, uh, explaining our policies, arming them with the arguments, listening to what they have to say, because it's very important that we understand uh, the feedback that they're getting as activists in the community as well. Um, but I think mostly it's about an interaction and a very good dialogue between our base and ourselves and government. No doubt that arising out of this, the Fianna Fáil members throughout the Dublin area who were here tonight are going to go up fully buoyed up, full of confidence and willing to send our message out. It's a big boost for people to be fair, it's a shot in the arm for people, like we're all in this together, we're moving through this, we are going in the right direction. So the interaction is crucial, every area needs its own focus and I think what, what's been done here this evening in, in Dublin is crucially important and we should continue to do this. We need to be out there, we need to be with people. And I think as far as the organisation are concerned, they need to be with us, they need to meet the Taoiseach, they need to meet the ministers, and they need to do what they're given an opportunity tonight to do, to tell the Taoiseach what they feel. We've done a lot with our web and with our uh, newsletters, and communication has improved. But there's nothing ever as valuable as face-to-face -face communication, and the grassroots members need to hear from um, our senior uh, leaders on a regular basis. I see it every day uh, with our ordinary common members, our ordinary helpers, our, our canvassers, you know, and they always have opinions, they always want to put those opinions forward. And a regional conference like this one in Dublin is a particularly great opportunity for those people to have their say. A lot of information here that as one of the ministers said is not always in the actually Brian Lennon said it's not always in the front page mm. of the newspaper. Yeah. Um so it's stuff that we don't actually know. We need to get it out there and let the people know. So it's definitely worthwhile conference. Well it's absolutely essential that, that our members, the same as the general public, have the same right to, to full knowledge, to know exactly what's happening, to know why the government are making the tough decisions that they are making in the national interest. It's a great opportunity for people to meet with uh, senior ministers and the Taoiseach himself and to be able to articulate how they feel and what they, their view uh, of the future is. Producing an interim report within the next fortnight and the government will act on whatever recommendations they make. Who now is the party with the capacity to, uh, to instigate a recovery quickly? And the answer to that question is Fianna Fáil. We've got to believe that and we've got to communicate that more aggressively than the past. I thought Brian Cahan was, was uh, the best I've seen him in a long, long time. Uh, I thought uh, he was very motivational. Uh, I thought he really got uh, fired to the belly of the troops. So all the things that you when you're at home and you're thinking, like, you know what, I'd love to ask them. They actually have the opportunity there with your Minister for Finance, with the Taoiseach, um, Minister for Tourism was there. And actually have the opportunity to ask them those questions one to one, I think it was fantastic. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It gave the... Um, membership and opportunity to interact with the front bench. There was a man got up there who I know for a fact has canvassed for many years for Fianna Fáil, who's Dublin born and bred in her city, but he had found just being here tonight so uplifting to hear people like Antishuk talk about the positivity that we can have and will have in the future. We have to, as they say, end up believing in our country and our people and that we can make it and Fianna Fáil will lead us there. We mustn't lose faith in ourselves. Others outside the country have faith in what in the, in the turn of events as we're dealing with them in this crisis situation. We've got to have faith in ourselves as well. Uh, and it's for us, of course, to communicate to the public that there is a way forward, there is hope, there is a way of securing our children's future, and that we have to simply persevere with getting through this problem based on where we're at at the moment.